tiny little machine. Is this your motorcycle? No. Is your test it? Yeah. <laughs> Isn't it funny? I know. Yo, what is up guys, Duke of DC here. Welcome to another video. We are over here at Del Amo Motorsports of Orange County in beautiful Santa Ana, California. Huge shout out to Del Amo. They have provided me with a ton of bikes to review. You've probably seen a video already. You're gonna see a few videos to come. It even says YouTube right here. No one's ever done that for me. That's pretty cool. Um, and as always, this video is brought to you by Rollick. Rollick is a company connecting consumers like you and me to a network of certified dealers like Del Amo Motorsports to provide the most transparent buying experience when it comes to ATVs, side-by-sides, RVs, and of course motorcycles like this beautiful, I got a squat, like this beautiful 2020 Honda Grom. So I've taken out the 2019. Is there much difference? Uh, short answer, no. But it's a 2020. I thought it was important to take out. I'm excited to ride this bike. Del Amos provided it. Again, they're gonna be linked in the description down below. So let's go over this plucky little single. First and foremost, this bike comes in at $3,400. That's the MSRP. Uh, it's been around for a while, right? The Honda Grom kind of led the gang when it was the mini moto craze that has happened recently. We've got Super Cubs, we've got Monkeys out there, we've got Z125 from Kawasaki. You know, what makes this the piece de resistance of the mini moto? And I think it's just, you know, it was first. It's been here for a while. For the powerhouse here, we have a 124.9 cc liquid cooled single. It's tiny, something that you would see potentially on a lawnmower. Uh, it produces 9.7 horsepower and eight pound feet of torque, which crazy enough can propel this motorcycle to an estimated top speed of 60 miles per hour. Now, before everyone gets crazy, 60 miles per hour is the estimate from Honda. I have seen this bike go faster personally. I know a lot of reviewers and owners of this motorcycle have seen it uh, top more than that. So your results may vary. We've got a full stock system here. I have ridden a 2019 with a exhaust and a few aftermarket bits. So this will be kind of an interesting comparison to see how much more of an experience there was when I had an aftermarket exhaust versus some of the stock components. We've got the tiniest little Nissan brakes that I've ever seen on the front. And well, no, that's not true. And even smaller ones on the rear, you have non-adjustable suspension, both front and back. So for $3,400, you know, this is a really, really great entry level price. If you've ever been interested in riding motorcycles, if you're someone that just wants a fun little weekend warrior, if you're not gonna be riding on major highways, this is the bike for you. You've got a tiny little 1.45 gallon gas tank. But here's the kicker. This 1.45 gallon gas tank will get you 134 miles per gallon. That's right. So this tiny little pipette that in the great state of California, where gas prices can exceed $5 a gallon sometimes, is gonna get you just as far as a four gallon gas tank that's producing somewhere in the mid 40s. It's absolutely insane. If you're looking for something economical, I can also assure you that the insurance on this motorcycle is going to be less than something like a 600cc bike. That's just common sense right there. Now, again, your results may vary. I don't know what your driving records look like. Some of the more notable dimensions, we have a 30 inch seat height here. I know that's gonna sound maybe a little bit high for a bike that is considered a mini moto, but it's so very narrow that this is a really easy motorcycle to get your feet down on, especially if you're a bit vertically challenged. Again, five foot nine, 30 inch inseam. I can flat foot this bike with ease. I will show you. I can stand, it's pretty amazing. Uh, all in, curb weight, weighs 222 pounds. So crazy lightweight, very low to the ground, and a fun little plucky single. Let's take this thing for a spin. <laughs> we are back on the Grom. I can tell you two, one, two things. Thing one, this is not gonna be a long ride review. <laughs> There's a lot of roads around here, but most of them have speed limits uh, up at 55 miles per hour. I have no issue taking this thing to 55. It's just not the most enjoyable bike to go fast on you know what son of a nutcracker you guys ever forget to do your chin strap after you put your helmet on and your gloves are already on <sighs> relatable i feel like i'm in like a mario kart in the video game <laughs> yeah this is not going to be a very long ride oh all right you guys know i love these honda groms i rode one last year in pennsylvania uh 2019 model that was a little bit souped up this is a fully stock 2020 honda grom so what's changed well basically nothing uh they offer it in a few different color variants now but that's it 
mechanically this is the same exact bike that I took out a year ago but I think it's important it's important for me to be the yardstick of change for the old Gromorowski and as other manufacturers start to produce more mini motos the class has actually been named by uh, manufacturers then I think that it's really important that manufacturers that are producing these bikes start to you know change them a bit elevate them to some degree but this is just a fun little single it's 124 cc single cylinder producing 9.7 horsepower and 8 pound feet of torque I kid you not when I tell you my family has a riding lawnmower that produces more horsepower and uh, probably more torque than this it's tiny tops out at about 60 miles per hour a lot of the I'm fully I'm fully torqued right now I am fully torqued it's a four-speed one down three up gearbox <laughs> you know I'm a heavy guy I weigh about 200 pounds um, which I'm not very proud of but it's how much I weigh so these 9.7 horsepower uh, it's working really hard right now to get me going anywhere but just down I'll tell you firsthand it just doesn't feel like something that should be street legal um, I don't feel unsafe but I just I'm like a floating head you guys probably can't see the handlebars which is really strange because on all of my shots I shoot in super wide view and the reason I do that is so that you can have a frame of reference because the floating head is kind of a weird shot but look at this I mean how I'd have to sit back in my seat tremendously this is a scooter on steroids but they're so fun they're, I mean this is definitely something that I could see enjoying if I wanted a little fun get around town bike if you lived in a city oh this would be brilliant 134 miles per gallon to be completely honest if you want to make any power you really have to ring this thing out this is a brand new bike though so I'm trying to be as uh, kind as humanly possible with it <laughs> we're honestly gonna turn it around right here because I just can't no u-turn I could take this bike up to Santa Monica and back if I wanted to. <laughs> it's ridiculous. All right, how do I turn around? Should we take this thing full speed? Are you ready to see what this looks like? Ready? Oh God. If you are trying to evade the police because you've just robbed a bank, this is certainly not your getaway vehicle. You are going to get got, as the kids say. As the kids say. I'm like 100 years old right now. This is too ridiculous. The other thing you have to like remember is that this is not a motorcycle in terms of how fast it goes. So what I would normally do on a bike, a situation where maybe there's a car eh, 1,500 feet away and it's going 60 miles an hour, I'd pull out and go. That's not an issue, right? Now, 1,500 feet's a long way. Maybe like 1,000. But in this, you cannot do that. I mean, I'm almost predisposed to get in that lane, the bike lane right there. This is it. This is just the, the pinnacle of speed. Let's freaking go, man. Yeah, boy. All right, guys. So like I said, this is going to be a pretty short test ride. Oh, man, that was the Kia that was behind me. They're fed up right now. Uh, that's too funny. Thank you so much for Del Amo Motorsports of Orange County here in Santa Ana, California for letting me take out this 2020 Honda Grom. As funny as it is, as toyish as it, uh, <laughs> it is, it's, it's a really fun bike. You know, I'm enjoying it so much. And thank you so much for Brolic for letting me, well, just come out here. Uh, and thank you so much for Rolic for sponsoring this video. Links in the description for both Del Amo and Rolic. As always, guys, if you enjoyed this, hit that like button, subscribe for more, comment down below. I want to hear your opinions. Would you rather buy a Mini Moto, a Honda Grom, or would you rather ride your bicycle to work? Because they're about the same. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. If you're part of the Grom gang, please comment down below. I love getting comments from subscribers. I read all of my comments. I print out the haters' comments. I post them on my wall. I look at them every day. They fuel me. You think you're discouraging me? All you're doing is making me stronger. All right, guys. And as always, I will see you on the next one. Peace! How's that feel?